Hello everyone, my name is Tyler and welcome to episode 9 of Fortnite Battle Royale Ideas, a series where you give me your ideas for Fortnite and I will give you my thoughts and implementations on the ideas. Today's video idea comes from Jacob Townsend who says, I'd like the idea of a different mode where it's a smaller map but also less people. It would make the games go by faster and if you were to die, it's not like you spent a good amount of time for nothing. With the newest 50v50 game mode update just releasing, what a more fitting idea. Let's talk about the new mode as well as others that could be done. If you enjoyed the gameplay or commentary, give the video a thumbs up to show your support. I think a battle royale game is inherently going to have a bigger map so people can choose whether they want to be around other people or not, and so they have time to get loot, and so the storm plays a prominent part in the gameplay. These things are kind of what makes a battle royale game a battle royale and these attributes tend to make the games last the length that they do. I will say that usually, for me, even in a game I've been in 20 minutes only to die and still place 15th, I still have a lot of fun. There's just a lot of attributes that make a battle royale so engaging and enjoyable for a large range of player types, and I'll probably make a video on this topic in the future. With all that said, I think the idea of a smaller game mode has its place, though not to replace the current model. And I do think it opens up for a lot of other game mode ideas to be discussed, so let's do just that. I'll give you some other game mode ideas, and then I'll give you my impressions of the newest 50v50 game mode that came out. Let's talk about Jacob's idea first, a smaller game mode. My first implementation of this idea involves dividing the map into quadrants. The bus would fly into the map as usual, but the storm would already be in effect. Only one of these quadrants would be in the safe zone, and therefore three quarters of the map would be cut out. Each safe quadrant is random each round, so you could get a game that centers mostly around Pleasant Park, or Wailing Woods, Greasy Grove, or Fatal Fields. You could even add in a fifth zone in the middle around Loot Lake. Having these safe quadrants randomized would add to the replayability of the mode, and make sure that all of the map still gets played. I imagine the storm would condense down as normal, but it would scale with the new size of the map. Or you could have storms more often to speed up the gameplay. You could have the full 100 players in this downsized map to making for a highly active and engaging game, or you could scale down the players to 25 or 50 to keep the pacing and stealth tactics at a healthy level. I will say I much prefer the current model's pacing, balancing, number of players, and so on, because it allows you to have engagements but also remain unseen and unheard by people across the map, which allows you to play aggressive or gather resources and build up a base, or play sneaky and stealthy. That's not to say that I don't like a smaller mode as well, there's been plenty of times I would have liked to have played a match on my lunch break but simply don't have the time, so here's an alternative or a limited timed mode that would be on a smaller scale. My next implementation for this idea is to keep the map the same size, but speed up the storm. This would keep the scale of the map the same size, but the pacing of the game would be much quicker. My main concern with this mode would be that the edges of the map would be less played unless the circle ended all the way out at the edge, which is unlikely. But this could add for some frantic and tense gameplay. I can attest when I'm running from or through the storm, I see other players by my side doing the same thing. There's some fast and important decisions that need to be made. Fortnite could have a limited weapons mode. Take the standard battle royale, but the only loot you get is snipers or pistols, or grenades, grenade launchers, and rockets, or really any one weapon type. This kind of evens the playing field and would determine how passive or aggressive you play. You could have consumables in there as well, or you could do the weapons only. You could even do a playlist with all common weapons, but of each type, or all rare of each type, or all epic. It would be interesting to see how everyone played if all anyone had was common weapons, or if the inverse was true, all epic weapons. My next idea is a variant of the 50v50 mode and spawns another fun mode idea I'll talk about in a second. This one comes from Saba who says, I have an idea, exclusive weapons for the 50v50 mode, something that will make the game mode different and much more fun. I can't think of something right now, but maybe a turret. Someone will need to sacrifice being idle to use a turret. It can only be found in supply drops, and one team can have one each. The turret will need to recharge after 10 seconds of shooting, which sounds fair, with a 5 second recharge time. This is a 1 minute thought. Maybe you can think of other 50v50 items? Other 50v50 items I would think would have to be team based. Maybe an item that speeds up the revive time. With bigger fights in the 50v50 mode, a team that just won a gunfight may still have 6 people downed in one area. Having some sort of stim pack that would speed up the healing process would be nice. Another team based item could be some sort of AoE that gives people extra shields for a short time or regenerates a small amount of health for a short time. These things would have a great benefit when used, but when used at the right time, will turn the tide of the fight. 
A mountable machine gun is an interesting idea. I'm going to implement that in my next mode, which I'm calling Assault. This one would be a variation of the team vs team mode. One team spawns on the map. That team has a limited amount of time, let's say 2 minutes, to gather materials and build up a base. Or maybe the team starts with a small amount of resources. They would use these 2 minutes to build up a giant base. All 50 people constructing platforms in the sky to snipe from, or laying traps in obvious entrances to the base, or building a strong foundation to something only a couple stories tall so it couldn't be knocked down, or building a maze the enemies would have to maneuver through to get to the base, or a combination of any of those. And to go with Saba's idea, you could implement a type of turret or other new constructibles to this assault mode. But how would loot work, you may ask, and I was hoping you would. Instead of looting the area, everyone has a loadout. They choose one common weapon or item, one uncommon, one rare, one epic, and one legendary. This would not only change up the game a lot, which I think a new mode should, but it would also do so in a balanced way, and with looting not being a thing, you can focus on crafting, which is an integral part of the game, and the main focus of this game mode especially, at least on defense. The assaulting team would also start the game with a loadout, the same stipulations applying, or the two could be different depending on how the game would need to be balanced. The assaulting team would fly over and could choose to land directly on the enemy base, which would be the easiest to get in, but also the most vulnerable or go at it from a different angle. Attackers would win if they assault the base by killing all the defenders, or maybe they have a central tower or a series of points that need to be destroyed by the attackers. At the end of the game, it would show damage done to the construction and to the objective. The defenders would win if they killed all the attackers, or if they successfully defended their base by not letting the attackers completely destroy the towers by the end of the time limit. What do you think of this assault mode? I love the idea, but hey, I'm biased. I like the new 50v50 mode, however, I pictured it to be more like this assault mode. In the trailer, you see two giant bases and two giant teams of 50 going head to head. The trailer was well made, but from the games I've played, more often than not, it's whichever team finds more of its own team first, then they will stick together and outnumber the stragglers of the opposing teams they find lingering around the world. Which is fine, and it's not a bad thing, it just seems a bit random. If there was a way to see your entire team, or if the teams jumped from different buses or opposite sides of the map, you would see more games play out like the trailer. All out warfare from everyone at once. I will say, there's been a couple games with some decent sized bases and it was really cool, but imagine a game mode, like Assault, that would really promote that in every match. Another variant of the 50v50 mode would be multiple storms. Let's say you have two storms that overlap, creating what looks like a Venn diagram. One team would have their safe zone, and the other would have theirs, and they would have a common middle ground. Most of the action would obviously happen where the circles overlap, but you could shoot from your safe zone into theirs. The circles would get smaller at the same time and would continue to overlap as they condense. This is another way you could see the epic base building happen more often in the 50v50 mode. My last idea stems from this one. I'm calling it Pockets. I don't particularly like the name, but I really like the idea. This is the standard battle royale mode, so we're getting away from the 50v50, squads and smaller. After you've landed on the map, instead of one storm coming in, there are three storms, and they are all at different locations. So you have three safe zones, these zones would be about the third of the size of a normal mode, the storms would move closer and closer to each other towards a random area on the map like they do now, and eventually they would have to connect in case the last few people were all in different storms. I think this would add an interesting dynamic. Imagine you kill everyone in your storm at the beginning and ride out your storm until it meets up with the others. Or you could even storm hop, taking a little damage to go to the other safe zone. Let me know what you think of the game modes I presented here. The weapon specialist mode, the assault mode, pockets mode, and quick play. Also, what do you think of the new 50v50 mode? Thank you Jacob and Saba for the comments. If anyone has any more ideas for Fortnite, let me know in the comments below and I will feature them in a video. Hope you enjoyed the 50v50 mode gameplay and the commentary. Subscribe for Fortnite and all things gaming. Thanks for watching, this has been Toast, and I'll see you on the next video.